Hey guys, it's Mrs. Benachi here and if you are new to my channel, welcome. So today we're going to be talking about how we met. So how me and my husband met. So since I got you on here and I got you locked in, make sure you subscribe, you share, you like and you comment. So tune in. Hey guys, it's the Benachis here and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about how we met. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is your channel, not yes. my channel. It's my channel. Yeah, so hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Mrs. Benachis channel. channel, but I'm here to help, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're not really helping, you're my guest on my channel. I know, <laughs> now you already know what's so, up, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. today is story time about how we met. Mm. So y'all, let me tell y'all something. I was in church, <laughs> minding my own business. Oh! Ish. And mm. then somebody just walks in mm -hmm. and I just started bossing him around. <laughs> All right, so let me say this. So... I came to the States mm -hmm. and this time around it was my time uh -huh. to go sing. Yes, so true. I got invited. Mm -hmm. invite you, Ayani. Yeah. Mahali in a Delaware. Yes. Nikenda Delaware. Now Mr. Sam mm -hmm. creative to a refill the head. Uh-huh. And I'll need a saka ni ambeni kuje. Mm-hmm. Ka a refill ya Delaware. Okay. So mean kanenda pali, ni kanenda. When I went there uh -huh. to sing. Uh -huh. So I did refill mm -hmm. in Delaware, Kaimba Delaware, then could happen place in Guamanda mm -hmm. Nikwa Bishop Kilu. Mm -hmm. Bishop Kilu, he's the uh, the bishop that was hosting me at that time and refill was at his church. Mm -hmm. But at Bishop Kilu house mm -hmm. there's my sister called Faith. Uh-huh. So Faith I can I met hey Benachi Kurna ka even Nanda Uko Fili. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, kuna event this weekend. I mean, kwa na New Jersey, kwa mbesa. I mean, New Jersey, mm -hmm. and I can remember by the New Jersey na Philly, ni mm -hmm. karibu. Yeah, it's not far. Ah, ni kama mbesa. We 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 oki malaza shugulu ni ambia mami ni kimalaza nda kuambia. Uh -huh. Kasema sa. I can ambia. Hey, unaweza come by the kama mbesa. Acha ni fanya event nda New Jersey this Friday. Alafu ni kujoko sato. So ni kaienda, ni kaimba New Jersey, and then you guys came to pick me up. No, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> Hold on, I'm telling that you, know, you came. I didn't pick you. How did you come? To, how did you get to Philly? Listen, I picked you up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm telling the story. Okay, you don't make me look like I'm lying. <laughs> Nothing is scripted, yo, by that. <laughs> so this uh -huh. is what happened. You faith came to Philly. Yes, because she was at my house. Uh -huh. yeah. And then you and Faith came to pick me up to take me to New Jersey. No, that's not what happened, babe. Okay. Faith was at my house because uh -huh. it was a sleepover. Yeah. Right? Then mm -hmm. I remember she had called you at like 2 a.m. or something. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh yeah, come to the church. You can sing or whatever. Yeah. And then I forgot how you got to Philly. But before you went to New Jersey, we took you to New Jersey, but that was after the event. Oh, I remember. I remember. I came. Yeah. I came to Philly with Joe and Faith's mom. Yeah. So Joe is, <laughs> Joe is Faith's, Faith's brother. Yeah. So that's how we, we got to Philly. Exactly. To your place. Yeah. So in Kendauko. Mm -hmm. And then we... We, 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 the, the event was done. Mm -hmm. It was on a Saturday. Yeah, right? it was a Saturday. Yeah. So I got one when you dropped New Jersey, mm -hmm. and then what I could just only pick. Yeah. Uh, New Jersey on Sunday afternoon after the the service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah. So I got to Philly. So even though I could happen Philly, so me and my friend me invite you to Imbe. Yeah. Aye. Ni kaimba alafu kuna joko na ile ile kufikia ni kama sasa wewe ni msanii <laughs> the only thing umekuja kufanya ni kukuja tu kuimba yeah. there's nothing else you're supposed to do so mimi nimetulia after nimeimba mm -hmm. just chilling and then some some other woman this woman right here who <laughs> you up for Ramona Mrembwangu sasa service imeisha mhm nimetulia sina mambo na ngoja to talk mm -hmm. ah Uyo kapila tu wapo kanyambia, hey, 
Can you help me roll this carpet? Yeah. Hi, Nikasema. Mimi, kwa watu wote. Wote, wote, wote wako hapa hivi. Mimi tu ndo maona nikuje ni roll carpet. Yeah. Ai. Yeah. Ai. <laughs> Anyway, he looked like he was idle anyway, because he was just sitting. Uh, what? Idle? First off, you were sitting on like the church banister. You weren't even sitting at the seat. Nah. You, yeah. Babe, <laughs> no, no. No, this would happen. Uh-huh. Don't. Lily Kabal Flari. Yeah. Lily Kabal Tokiapo. Yeah. So, Nika Kwakiti. After I was told to. To get up from there. Yeah, yeah. This was yeah. like a pillow or something. Yeah, and yeah. The banister. This is like a banister. Yeah, the yeah, banister. yeah. So, sasa sasa ni kwa nimeka kwa kitu. Baby, ni unajua. Baby, mi naona. Ni ya ni naona yo sinema hivi. Sasa wei unataka kungia kwa hii sinema. Na mi na unayona. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Haka kuja. Haka niambele msaide ku roll carpet. Sasa mimi ni kwa like mimi. Ni roll carpet. Right, Benachi. Oh, wait a minute. First off. Ah, 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 Carpet. Nimekuja kuimba, sijakuja ku roll carpet. Umeshika? Mm-hmm. Mimi nimekuja ku roll carpet. Mm-hmm. Nika humble lakini. Kasema tu sasa wacha tu nika roll carpet. Mm-hmm. Nika kusaidia ku roll carpet. Yes. Watu wangu. <laughs> Mimi tu na majinsi zangu na my force zangu nilikuwa nimenunua 100 dollars. Uh-huh. Nilikuwa naona ngatu kwa TV sasa nimezipata nimechapa na jinsi yangu fresh. Mm-hmm. Nime kuja ku roll carpet after yeah, kuimba. Yeah, yeah. Nika roll to carpet bila shida. <laughs> Nika roll carpet. And that was nice of you. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> after ku roll carpet me dadika Misha. Hey. No. Then, okay. So let me back ah. up a little bit, babe. Let me back up. Ah. So it was like a women's conference thing that we had. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a lot of guys in the church anyway. Okay, there were some guys, but it wasn't that many guys to help. So right there, some guys. I was not some guys, guy, yeah. yeah. But anyway, he was sitting there, so I said, okay, let me ask him. Mm-hmm. And he said, yeah. Then I was like, all right, cool. Then I might need you to help me with these dishes, and I was like, me. <laughs> So after rolling the carpet, <laughs> yeah, I think everything is done, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hey, so ni kambi wani ndeko alter ni chikwe glasses. Yes, ni pande kwa api kwa kitchen. Hey, 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 he doesn't aye. even know where. Did you have a kitchen ni kwa api? I don't know. If, I don't even know what the kitchen is. I know. Hey, manango. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So, so, hey. So I was giving hey. him directions like, okay, go straight, make a right, then make another right, then that's where the kitchen is. You see the same. Nili make left. The first thing I saw ni 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 leona cho kwanza. Because you know, hey, ni me piga. Nakini kuna two one left. Nika songa chini kido ni kona ndoi kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Nika weka glasses. Nika glasses kwa sink. Kurudi tu hivi. Nika parana na ina vacuum. Ay kia na. Yeah. Vacuum. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. The church needs to be cleaned, man. I know. So the servant of God is serving now. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. Amen. Serving with the papas. Mimi ka guja ni ka vacuum. Sasa feta na ni gaya yaba. Menaji. Menaji una faja. Mimi ma mbele sa ide ku vacuum. So I'm just doing. Yeah. Ah. Nika fa nika maliza. Yeah. Mhm. Lakini sasa mimi ni tasema ukweli. Mhm. Tukifanya hizo vitu zote. Mhm. My eye was not on her. Oh yeah. Eh, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't like that either. So it, it just happened in a way that, but I after two months of um after two months of kusaidia kumsaidia kwa church, mm-hmm. ika kwa ni na fakudropi wa new jazzi. Actually, we went back to Delaware first. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know, but ili kwa sasa ni dropi wa new jazzi, mm-hmm. and then to kind of. Delaware yeah? mm-hmm. ni kachukua nguo za kesho mm-hmm. ndo tuende wapi ni ujazi yeah tukaenda mpaka Delaware yeah? mm-hmm. tuka tuka Delaware yeah? tukaenda ni ujazi yeah tuko pamoja mm-hmm. lakini sasa sasa zile tunaenda Delaware tumekaa pale nyuma <laughs> tumekaa nyuma kwa seat we just seated in the back seat yeah in the back seat ah Mimi sije tulipata naje tumeshikana hivi. <laughs> that, was you. Hey. that was you. Ah, no hivyo mimi nilishikia tu kwa hivi. Hey, nikasema yeah, he, hey. he was holding my hand. Hey, nikasema, mm-hmm. "Ai, hey. mm-hmm. mapenzi mm-hmm. inaruni na noga yeah, hapa yeah. chini ya maji." <laughs> Kuna mwenye Holy Spirit alikuwa anaingia. <laughs> chini ya maji. <laughs> chini ya maji bale. So for me tukaenda tu. Yeah. Ah, 
kaintes kakaanza kukuja so wakan drop new jazzy then they went back no babe we didn't just drop you we stayed a little bit because we were at the pastor's house yeah remember and then we talked to the pastor and all mm -hmm. that and then they told us how they met yeah <laughs> which is similar to like how we met but we didn't even think anything of it so yeah. that night he asked for my number so i was like okay I'm yeah. gonna give you my number. Mm. The, the boy <laughs> had to do what men are supposed to do when yeah. you see a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can pay our number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ha, like, it's a you see what you watch. Hey, hey, hey. Text hey. in, text in. I love what Karuli Kulichiko Akakwa now, Pamodian Kasema. Yes, yes, yes. She came again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, kwanza hapo ka story kaenda mm -hmm. like kwa fit fit nini na nini na nini kakuwa sawa. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your version of your story before no, we go that's, on? No, that's the that's the true version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I oh yeah, I didn't know who he was at all. I didn't know who Benachi was. I didn't know anything about him. I had heard his song Wanake on YouTube, but when I met him, I still didn't put two and two together. Like I just it, I just, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know who he was. I was like, all right, okay. You know, I was like, oh, he kind of cute. Okay. All right. He kind of cute. I, that's what I said, kind of cute. Mm -hmm. But you know, my man fly, my <laughs> husband. He <laughs> is fly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is a fly, baby. You fly. Ah, you fly too, man. Thank I you. check you out every day. I'm just like, <laughs> man, I know how to choose, mm -hmm. man. God bless me with a beautiful woman, yo. You know, oh, <laughs> that's you. where my English comes in. Uko kugile wache, nizina gonga nanga, lakini kifika hapa. Hey, what's up, babe? Hey, it was good. I mean, I love you so much. Oh, babe. I love you too. Even my heart goes, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> oh my god so silly mm. so guys that's definitely how we met and how we started talking and there were like no red flags that's another thing too i was looking for because i was like listen i ain't got time to be playing around with somebody that's not serious okay so if yeah. you're single out there yeah. and you talking to a guy and he giving you the runaround <laughs> Sis, pack your bags and bounce because you know what? Sense, you going to waste yeah. time. The same thing she just said mm -hmm. for men. You too, bro. <laughs> you too, man. <laughs> you too, man. Yeah, pack your bags and go. Yeah. <coughs> she said it. Yeah. But I want to repeat it. Repeat it. And let that's know. my English comes in, mm -hmm. yo. Let me, let me turn a little bit so All you know right. I can do it sometimes, you know? Go ahead. <laughs> so if you meet a, a woman, mm -hmm. a lady, yeah, and she's giving you red flags, mm -hmm. Hey, bro, don't even waste don't your time. Even. Don't, don't, don't push on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people, some people have different stories though, mm -hmm. where the first time there was red flags mm -hmm. and then everything went right. But the problem is a red flag is always a red flag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You cannot paint it blue. Oh, red facts. is red. Red is red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on what kind of red flag you're seeing. Mm -hmm. So there's some things you can fix, but there's some things you can't fix. Mm -hmm. You can only work on them, but some other things you just need to stay away from them. Facts. Right? Facts. So, but what I can say about relationship is you play your part, I play my part. Mm -hmm. And there's some things you can fix as you go. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a list of the things you want to see from another, the other half, mm -hmm. maybe you're a woman, you, you have a list that you want to see. You want to have, to, you want to see with, with the man that you, you right, you want like to, characteristics you know, yeah, those kind of, of that things. person. Same, same to men, you know, if you have a list, but maybe you have like a long list that is like 10. Mm -hmm. And then honestly, sometimes you cannot get all the things that you have on the list, Facts. but maybe you have major, mm -hmm. major, major ones, you know, mm -hmm. maybe three, four. So if you see more than two major ones that you think that you like them mm -hmm. S don't let the other seven scare you away Facts. there's some things you can fix as you go mm -hmm. you know it's it's a it's a working progress today mm -hmm. is a different day tomorrow is a different day mm -hmm. and uh there's some things you can only w fix them if you work together yeah yeah everybody has their struggles uh struggle struggle is a struggle it might be a self-esteem struggle it might be any kind of struggle you understand what i'm saying you mm -hmm. know so the thing is 
pay attention. Yeah, oh yeah, pay attention. Be, be, sh- be, 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 be so careful on what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and stick with it. But don't wrestle yourself down and being realistic and realistic to yourself. Mm-hmm. Like the whole list gotta be full. Oh yeah. No, no way, no, no way, no. no way, no way. Babe, did you have a list of what you wanted before you met me? Trust me, it's only one. I just, uh, I was just praying. Mungu ni pati mtu mwenye ni juu. Mhm. Ustaki mtu mwenye atakuja kuni kuni penda because I'm a singer. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm known or love me for what I have. Mm-hmm. I want you to love me for who I am. Yeah. If I don't have anything, mm-hmm. you like you love me the way I am. So yeah. for me at that time, my only thing I had on the list was just I want somebody that doesn't love me because of my name mm-hmm. or because of my fame or because of what I have or what they think that I have, mm-hmm. you know, because <clears throat> they only see me on the TV or something like that. So that was my, my fear. I don't want to have people just to write on, write, yeah. write on, on, name. on my name, you know, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So back to the whole having a list thing. Also, like you touched on it, they being unrealistic. Okay. Some of us ladies. Okay. It's all of us, actually. We have this fairy tale of how you're supposed to meet the guy and the qualities that he's supposed to have. And then you have this long, crazy list. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to stay single. It's not just about one person and yeah. just one person, just being selfish. It's two people coming together, so it's, it's never going to be about one person. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you put it like it's just all, only about one person, then you have to be by yourself. Mm-hmm. So before you guys came together, you were living by yourself. Yeah. But right now you're living together. Mm-hmm. That's why you went, you went to the altar, mm-hmm. you did the vows, and it's about two people. Mm-hmm. So these two people have to work together in yeah. every field every field yeah no matter what it is if you have a struggle talk to your other half mm-hmm. if you have any kind of problem talk to your other half if you if, if, if you guys are not working together mm-hmm. there's a problem right there yeah in everything so let me go back a little bit you just yeah. said something mm-hmm. so you said going back to the altar and the vow so how did you know i was the one i want to know that you yeah. um to me, it was just a feeling. Mm-hmm. The feeling that was coming with everything mm-hmm. and how everything ha- happened. Mm-hmm. It was just a divine connection. Yeah. Because at the moment, I, I later on, I started looking at how everything started. Mm-hmm. The first time I saw you, I was not like, okay, I just noticed a woman here. Mm-hmm. And I think I want to hit on that woman. Right. No. It was just, okay, I went to sing. Mm-hmm. You, you you told me to help you, but yeah. my mind was not even there. Yeah, yeah. And then it was just a divine connection how everything uh, started going, you understand? Mm-hmm. And then for us, I think everything was just lined everything up. Everything was, was lined no, up, like everything. There was no, like, um, a back and forth. Yeah, like, there was no struggle. No struggles, mm-hmm. you know, it was just... God planned for it and mm-hmm. it just happened. Yeah, Every- everything was sm- like when I say smooth, yeah. it was so smooth. <laughs> but what, what I can say is with that, mm-hmm. I know when your heart is ready. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think sometimes our hearts, uh, we can be ready in our hearts, mm-hmm. but we don't know. Right. Because sometimes we're just living on the outside with fear. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you, you're trying to, you're trying to be un- unrealistic with yourself. Mm-hmm. You, there's, th- there's some things that you want, but you can't get them mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so what I, what I can say about that is sometimes you're ready right and the only person who can really know when you're really ready even if yourself doesn't know you're ready mm-hmm. is god yeah, yeah so if you're asking for marriage if you're asking to do anything that you, you think you want it to happen when you're ready mm-hmm. sometimes you don't know if you're ready only yeah, god knows when you're god. ready and god is so um god is so intentional when it comes to uh, things like marriage because mm-hmm. you need to understand what this is you know before you 
walk in it. Yeah. Yeah. So God knows. God <laughs> knows who is the right person for you. Yeah. God knows how this is going to be. Yeah. So you just avail yourself mm -hmm. and be realistic. The things that you want mm -hmm. and the things that you need and the things that you can get. Mm -hmm. If you have a list of 20 things, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can find all 20 things. Hmm. You understand? Yeah, that's but for a long me, list. I think I was just ready mm -hmm. and God knew I was ready. Yeah. Me, I I was not expecting to meet mm -hmm. my wife that soon. Yeah. And just <laughs> and how everything rolled out. That was so soon. Yeah. God knew I was ready. Yeah. Really knew I was ready. For me myself, I didn't know I was ready. Mm -hmm. I was just like, hey, I want to, this is what I want, but mm -hmm. I think God knew I was ready. Yeah. And it just that's why He brought you to me. Mm -hmm. And I think you were ready too. I was ready. Listen, yeah. I was ready way before I met you. I was ready at 23. I was telling the Lord in prayer, Lord, I'm ready to be married. But no, he was like, nah, you need to wait. Because when I met you, I was 25. Yeah, I was. So I just waited and I waited and waited. I was 26. <laughs> I was 26. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was ready. But I think also like from the age of 23 to 25, the Lord was grooming me. Because mm -hmm. then I was going through brokenness and growth and like self-growth, spiritual growth. I had to like learn things about myself before I met you. I had to like learn how to be a wife without even being a wife. Mm -hmm. So that was like the time like for me when I was single. I was always in prayer. I was always in prayer. Like when I say I was fasting and praying and reading my word, right, right. I was being groomed because now that I'm my wife, I'm like, wow, like those prayers really did something for me. Even now I'm like, okay, I know how to be a prayerful wife. Like those are some of the things that, you know, when you get married as a woman, you need to be praying for your household. My husband, he be praying for us all the time. And I'm like, yo, like that is so sexy. Like I yo. love it. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It is, it is. Yeah, man. It's all good. So that's how we met. Mm -hmm. And you want to know what happened after that? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got to have to watch the next one. Listen, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Yeah. So, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Boom! <laughs> Thank you for tuning in today. So we're also going to be talking about what happened after we met so the courting phase of it we'll be talking about the dating part then we're going to be talking about the um planning the wedding how he proposed then we're going to be talking about being married then we're going to be talking about how we moved from philly to Atlanta. then we'll be talking about babies <laughs> So make sure you're tuned into my channel, you're locked in, that you have subscribed to get the notification on every single time that I post something on my channel. So guys, we'll see you on the next one.